what you guys got another video here for you on how to make windows 10 great again so what we're going to do is remove a ton of bloatware on windows 10 with a brand new script that's been released on github now remember before you run any sort of scripts or anything like that on your computer it's always best to back up your data and make restore points so if something goes wrong you can always roll back your pc also, I will not be held responsible if you lose data or damage your computer running any of these scripts. You've been warned. You do this at your own risk. Uh, this one's called a uh, bloat box and you can download it on here. I'll leave the link on my website uh, so you can go over there and uh, basically download it. It's basically a script that you can download from here. And what it's going to do is remove a ton of stuff and you can also run a script a debloater script afterwards to remove all the other stuff you can see it's getting flagged here because of the nature of the script that it is but you can keep it and download it if you don't want to use these types of things then by all means don't download them and don't use them but they are safe to use they're just scripts and i've had a good look at it and there doesn't seem to be anything malicious inside there extract it all to your desktop and this will give us access to a folder where we can see a bloat box here just drag this onto your desktop here and uh, what we're going to do is just run this as administrator let me just quickly clear up a few things here there we go and all we need to do here is right click and run this as administrator this will open up another big box here which will allow us to run some uh, scripts on here to remove a lot of apps now a lot of these apps may be different on yours I've removed a ton of stuff already on here but it will remove all of the apps that you don't want like uh, photos Candy Crush all that sort of stuff it will remove all that stuff from your system it'll be all listed there you can choose what you want to remove now you can either remove one at a time and leave some behind or you can remove them all and select them all so you can see here I've removed one app I can add all of the apps and I can undo and remove one of the apps if I've made a mistake and put that back by saying um, remove selected and it will put it back so you can choose whatever you want to remove on yours okay it's entirely up to you what you remove and what you don't remove so let's move on to the uninstall button at the bottom and this will uninstall all of these apps from the computer that will take a bit of time so just let it do its thing and uh, once that's done, it should give us information to say that it's been completed. There you can see it successfully removed all these apps. Now I've already removed a ton of these, but you may have a load more that you may want to remove. Now, once this is complete, you can see there's an area that says start fresh if your Windows 10 is loaded with bloatware. Once that is complete, you can go up to the top. You'll see optional features, download the community version. This will allow you to download the Windows 10 debloater script uh, and it will allow you to run this on your system. It will open up a PowerShell window and start to remove a bunch of stuff. You have no control over what this is going to actually remove. So be very careful if you don't want to lose certain features. This will start to remove a bunch of stuff. You can see here the following will allow you to either debloat Windows 10 or revert changes made after debloating windows 10 so we're going to select yes here to remove everything or you can select no to remove apps via the blacklist so we're going to remove everything from here this will start to uninstall all the bloatware and it will start removing registry keys and bloatware from windows 10 it will remove any sort of telemetry and anything like that or any sort of privacy concerns that you may have with windows 10 it's going to go ahead and start disabling a bunch of services and uh, getting rid of cortana and onedrive and things like that that you don't need on your system if you do need that sort of stuff then leave this a script well alone so just read the prompt boxes and click yes or no uh, to continue with removing stuff do you want to uninstall onedrive yes i do and it will go ahead and uninstall onedrive for you so do you want to unpin all the items from the start menu yes i do and it will go ahead and do that for you so just bear this in mind uh, when you're running scripts like this this is a bit more forgiving this script it does prompt you and give you options where some scripts don't and they will just remove stuff so if you're not familiar with this sort of thing then you may want to leave it alone and use uh, software programs out there will take care of all these settings for you which use toggle buttons to toggle on and off and i've showed you those before in the past 
that script has now been completed and it's now going to reboot the system update the system and then get back to the desktop and all that spyware and bloatware will be removed from windows 10 it's that simple now again it's always advisable to back up your data and make system restore points before you do any of this sort of stuff on your computer i will not be held responsible if you break your pc so there we go we are now back at the desktop and like i said there is other methods you can use rather than using scripts like this if you want to use software there is tons of different types of software out there that will do this for you some of the most more popular ones are shut up 10 which you can use this is a free anti-spyware tool for windows 10 which you've seen me use before and this will help you remove any sort of telemetry or data collecting you can see here wpd the real privacy dashboard for windows you can even use that one as well and it will remove a lot of that stuff for you and that's going to be it for this video just a quick short video on how to uh, make windows 10 great again my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope these videos help you out guys i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.